An Alta employee shares a shocking video, and Lauren Gray is called out for her profile picture. Welcome to Reality, a segment where we report on multiple stories in a single video. Before I get into the stories, I just want to put out a disclaimer. Please do not send any hate to Alta Beauty, Lauren Gray, or anyone else involved in these stories. This video is simply meant to report on the news. An Alta Beauty employee's TikTok video has exposed what the company does with return products. On April 12th, an Alta Beauty employee named Bianca posted a TikTok that showed her destroying return makeup palettes and emptying returned hair care products. Here's the video. This is what we do at Alta. When someone returns something, even if it's not used. Yep. Part two. What we have to do. Yep. So that people can't dumpster dive and seal it. So. Can you look cute? Yep. The video quickly went viral, with over 3 million views, over 600,000 likes, and over 4,000 comments. People had mixed reactions in the comments. One person said they didn't understand why Alta cared. I just don't even understand why they care so much. They're getting rid of it anyway. Bianca replied, I wish we could donate it all to shelters. Another person explained what they do instead of returning products. That's why I don't really return stuff. I just find someone who does want it. Bianca responded, that's the best thing to do. Someone else pointed out that people could tamper with the products. You never know what people do with these products either. Things can be added to bottles. It's just not safe. I'm glad the company does this. Bianca replied, exactly. Then the company can be sued for what happens. When a different person said people are suing Alta for getting a bad reaction from old or used makeup, Bianca responded, yes, employees have been getting in trouble for just putting it back on the shelf and people getting pink eyes and stuff from it. However, several people criticized parts of the video. A few people said dumpster diving was not stealing. It's not stealing if it's being thrown away, LMAO. How is it stealing if it's trash? They didn't take it out of the store, it was already out of the store. Bianca answered, because we have our dumpster locked up and in a no trespassing area, so if they trespass and take it, then it's stealing. They didn't pay for it. And when one person asked if she was proud of being wasteful, Bianca replied, no, I'm not. Why would I be proud of this? It's the company rules. If you would watch my other video, you would see why. I can't stop this. Later that day, Bianca posted more TikToks to answer questions. So, um, another thing on the whole makeup thing is we have to destroy it because the brands do not want us to donate it and because we have dumpster divers. So, and no, we're not allowed to take it because we get checked every time we leave. Like, they, like, body feel us to make sure we're not stealing. So, yeah. So, to answer some questions, um, it is stealing. When you go somewhere that is not open up to the public and they break into something that is closed and not open to the public to take something, that's stealing. If someone did that to you, sorry, I got a call, um, that would be stealing to you. Um, other things, we cannot donate it because the FDA, FDA will not let us because it can spread cross-contamination. Um, we also destroy it because people will try to take it out of the dumpsters and bring it in and return it or they will turn around and sell it at like a thrift shop or on Facebook Marketplace. We've seen it so much. Um, Ulta is a really great place. I love my job. It is the best job that I have ever had. Ulta is not the only place that does this. Sephora does it. Bath and Body Works does it. Target, Walmart, every place does it to stop cross-contamination or anything bad that could come from it. Um, so if you have any more questions, I guess just drop them and I will make another video. So yeah. It's sad that I have to make one of these videos because people are attacking me for no reason. I've done absolutely nothing wrong to anyone at all. I just posted my experiences working at Ulta. Yes, we are closed right now because of the virus. We are still getting paychecks though. Sephora fired all of their half like their part-time employees. Ulta kept all of their employees. They're still paying them. Ulta also donated over $5,000 to help get masks for people who need them. 
Um, another thing. No, I'm not rich. That's why it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me because it spreads cross-contamination. It's the rules. That's what we have to do. I don't have a say-so in anything, so don't come and attack me. If you want to say something, email Ulta's corporate and say something. I can't change that. I've done absolutely nothing wrong, so you coming at me and attacking me, being hateful, that just shows what's wrong with people in the world. You think you're entitled. You think you can be rude to whoever you want. I've done nothing wrong to you. I don't even know you. For context, many Sephora part-time employees claimed the company fired them in a short conference call, although Sephora clarified they had laid off 3,000 employees in their U.S. stores who had worked for the company for a short time and worked limited hours. Bianca also spoke to BuzzFeed about her viral TikTok. She said she wanted people to know what happened with returned products. I wanted people to realize that when they return things, it's not always put back on the shelf. They should reconsider before returning items they purchased. I understand some people have have to return things, but if it's not necessary, then I don't believe they should return it. Bianca said she had a hard time with destroying return products when she started working at Ulta. As time went on, I learned why it had to be done, and it didn't bother me as much. The main reason why things are damaged out is because of the possibility of cross-contamination. If a seal is broken, even if it is unused, we have to either destroy it, send it back to the vendor, or send it to DC where it can properly be discarded. And she spoke about the amount of returns she sees when she works at the cash register. When I work the register, I can honestly say about 45% of the people who come in that day are returning things. About 30% of the product returns are able to be put back on the shelf, and the other 70% have to be damaged out and properly taken care of. We most definitely have over $1,000 worth of returned items per week. One time, I had a customer come in and return more than $300 worth of makeup that had to all be thrown out. Alta hasn't made an official comment about the TikTok, but an Alta employee commented on Bianca's original TikTok confirming the company destroyed opened and returned products. Bianca also replied to a comment from an Alta store manager saying the company had gotten in touch with her to make sure she was doing okay with all the negative comments. This isn't the first time an Alta employee has spoken out about the company's practices. In January 2018, a former Alta employee shared her experiences in a now-deleted Twitter thread. The former employee claimed managers would force employees to clean and repackage return makeup, even if it was used. So I was a former employee at Alta, and whenever a customer would return a product, we were told by managers to repackage, reseal the item, and put it back on the shelf. They would resell everything, makeup, hair care, skin care, fragrance, hair tools, etc. For example, this foundation, even sticks, they would clean it with a Q-tip to make it look new. I'll attach a photo of a new foundation versus the one they repackaged and put back on the shelf, not sanitized. They even put back a used liquid lipstick. The manager said she would clean it with alcohol. That was the last straw for me. Here's a photo of a lip palette, exclusive online only, that was returned and managers put it back on the shelf to resell, clearly not sanitized. They even taught us how to clean eyeshadow palettes and let it dry overnight so it can be repackaged and sold the next day. Managers would get pissed if they saw items in the damage bin that looked resellable. The former employee also shared what happened when she contacted Alta Corporate. I contacted Corporate and I was surprised to hear her say, well, when it comes to mascaras, we definitely want to be hygienic. I immediately cut her off and said, what about lipsticks and foundation? They are reselling everything that they can clean up and make new again. She was speechless and told me along the lines of, I'll look into the situation. As well, she shared screenshots from other Alta employees who said their stores had the same practices. In a statement to BuzzFeed, Alta addressed the claims. The health and safety of Alta beauty guests is a top priority, and we strive to consistently deliver an optimal experience every time time they shop with us. We take any concern of this nature very seriously and are looking into these claims. Our policies, training, and procedures are aimed at ensuring that only the highest quality products are sold in our stores and online, and we prohibit the resale of used or damaged products. Our store associates are trained to catalog those items and then properly dispose of them. If associates have concerns that this or any Ulta Beauty policy is not being followed, they can anonymously report it through our third-party hotline. In addition, 
to swiftly evaluating claims recently shared on social channels, we are reviewing our existing practices to ensure compliance with our product quality policies. If there's a way for us to do better, we will. In the comments section of her TikTok, Bianca said that if the seal wasn't broken, employees were allowed to put return products back on the shelf. While Alta has never officially confirmed the truth behind the claims, it's good to see the company taking the health and safety of their customers seriously now. Will you return beauty products in the future? Lauren Gray was under fire for her profile picture. On April 25th, Marley, a popular artist on Instagram, posted an Instagram story exposing Lauren's profile picture. Marley wrote, Why does Lauren have an edited picture of my drawing of Dove Cameron as her profile picture? I've said many times I don't want my drawings edited. Isn't it kind of rude to make her think it's her when it's actually not? I've had this problem for years now, especially with fan accounts of TikTokers, lol. Their stolen art keeps getting noticed, and every time that happens, it encourages others to edit or trace my drawings as well. No matter how many times I try to explain it to them, they don't seem to understand. I don't know what to do. Soon after Marley posted the Instagram story, Lauren changed her profile picture to a photo of herself. Lauren also addressed the situation on her Instagram story. A fan page edited the drawing and tagged me in it, so I thought it was for me. Anyway, happy Saturday. I'm gonna eat breakfast now. Change my profile picture. After seeing Lauren's response, several people said it wasn't a big deal. She handled it calmly. The other person overacted. Damn, it's not even that deep anyways. I feel so bad for Lauren. It wasn't that deep. I don't know why people made it such a big deal because she didn't know. Later on, Marley apologized. By the way guys, I don't have anything against Lauren at all. She probably didn't know it was originally my drawing. And I also didn't mean to call out the person that edited the picture in particular. Later on, when I got tagged in their post, I realized they were one of the very few people that actually gave credit. I deleted the story because I didn't want people to attack them. I was just trying to make a general statement that I don't want my art being edited, since I've said that many times before, but it keeps getting ignored. One drawing takes me hours, and I just think it's unfair for someone to just edit it a little bit and call it their own for likes and attention. I didn't mean to come across as rude or anything, I'm really sorry if I did. Some people didn't fully accept the apology. Now she apologizes, bah ha She made it into a big deal. She could have asked Lauren privately to change it. It's always TikTokers fans, sis, you didn't even take on another level. You mentioned all fandoms. If you don't want anyone to steal your stuff, then put a watermark. But a few people said Marley had a right to be upset. Y'all sound dumb telling her how she should or shouldn't feel when she was the one who drew it. Or people should respect her and not take her drawings. It's simple. Even though Lauren didn't know the artwork was stolen, it's good to see her quickly address and fix the situation. And while Marley could have phrased her original post in a better way, it's important for her to protect her copyrighted material and intellectual property. For more information on copyright, you can watch one of our previous videos for a full analysis. Do you think this situation was blown out of proportion? What do you think about these stories? Let me know in the comments below.